When superstar Tom Cruise isn't performing crazy stunts in Mission Impossible movies or practicing Scientology, he loves buying luxury real estate. After selling his last LA property in 2016, it's said he doesn't consider Hollywood home anymore. Instead, Tom spends most of his time in Clearwater, Florida at his lavish penthouse close to the Scientology headquarters. And he also spends time in England. Reportedly, he hunkered down for part of lockdown at the Church of Scientology UK in Sussex after filming for Mission Impossible. 7 was suspended and is now mansion hunting in the area. Not to mention, Tom recently put his beautiful 320 acre ranch in Colorado up for sale. Today we'll take a look at where he calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tom Cruise is an actor and producer who's won various awards throughout his career, including three Golden Globes. He's also one of the highest paid actors on the planet and his films have grossed over over $10.1 billion worldwide. He began his career in the early 80s with leading roles in movies like Risky Business and Top Gun. Moving on to some more serious films after this. One of my favorites from the 90s starring Tom has gotta be Interview with the Vampire. Of course, we can't forget he's also an action star and most notably played Ethan Hunt in all six Mission Impossible films since 1996. In fact, filming for the seven installation of the movie was suspended due to the pandemic, which is apparently why Tom Tom was staying in the UK in the first place last year. Tom is an outspoken advocate for the Church of Scientology and its associated programs, and it seems his recent real estate decisions have also been heavily motivated by how close they are to Scientology headquarters. After selling his last Hollywood estate some years ago, Tom opted for a penthouse in Clearwater Beach, Florida, and is also now looking to buy a historic home in England after staying at the Scientology headquarters UK. And with a net worth of $570 million or more, Tom can likely buy any UK mansion he desires. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we're checking out the properties of Tom Cruise, including the gorgeous Colorado estate he has on the market for $39 million, his luxury Florida penthouse, and where he's been calling home in England. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of our other house tours on celebs like Pamela Anderson and Oprah. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In recent news, Tom hoisted his massive Rocky Mountain estate onto the market for $39.5 million. And while he previously wanted to sell the place for 59 mil back in 2014, he never publicly listed it. It seems the Mission Impossible star wasn't quite ready to part with the stunning spread. Tom purchased the property back in 1994 and spent a handful of years and money building a custom retreat, which consists of a cabin style mansion spanning over 9,800 square feet and a three bedroom guest house, all within 320 acres of sprawling land. The property is surrounded on three sides by a national forest, but it isn't completely remote since it's just about seven miles from the heart of Telluride. Tom's estate is protected by a gated entrance, and to get to the Cedar and Stone Mansion, you must travel up a mile-long driveway lined with aspen trees. This allows for a ton of privacy, and it's also worth mentioning there's a helipad on the property if you choose to arrive that way instead. Inside the Colorado getaway boasts seven beds, nine baths, and a warm, charming interior with a rustic vibe. The living room features beamed ceilings with cedar timbers, French windows that show off the tall mountain peaks, and a large stone fireplace. Elsewhere, there's another fireplace making for some cozy nights here, especially in the colder months. The large dining and formal rooms make Tom's estate perfect for entertaining and hosting guests. Not to mention, the kitchen is also decked out in wood to match the rest of the home. The space is well stocked with luxury appliances, including three refrigerators. Other highlights inside the mansion include cozy nooks like a library, and elsewhere a games room with pool table and fully equipped gym. If that's not enough, there's also an office for when you want to work from home and a spa. If you haven't already guessed, the real selling point of Tom's Colorado estate is the great outdoors. There are the traditional features like a sports court, but if you're a nature-loving type like me, the place has a ton of trails for hiking, snowmobiling, ATVing, and more, some of which connect to the other public trails too. If that's not your thing, since Telluride is so close, you can always head into town to hit up the slopes, shop, or for some fine dining. If you want to bump into Tom in 
Clearwater, Florida, it might not be a mission impossible. 2018, it was reported the actor was renovating a penthouse condo near the Scientology International Headquarters in Clearwater as a new home base. It seems Tom left the glitz and glamour of Hollywood living behind a couple of years prior after selling his real estate there and was essentially homeless or just leasing homes. This two-story penthouse is within the Scientology church grounds according to reports and is part of a newer development in the coastal town called the Skyview, which was built by one of the world's richest Scientologists, Mexican developer Moises Agami. Tom's lavish apartment is perched on the 9th and 10th floors, naturally at the very top, and spans 1,253 square feet with two beds and two baths. While many buildings owned by the Church of Scientology are nice but generic and dated, Tom's is contemporary, chic, and fit for a celeb. Inside there are beautiful features like a rooftop deck, 39 foot infinity pool, solarium, bar, and hot tub. Not to mention the penthouse also boasts a secret passageway leading to a smaller condo on the second floor where you'll find a flight simulator, home gym, and office. If the A-lister wants to safely stow his car collection, there's parking space for nine cars and a private car elevator for convenience. Tom's condo has an open plan layout with a bright marble kitchen and sun-filled common spaces to dine and relax, while other rooms are more mysterious, like this man cave or games room with a pool table. Apparently, when the place was under construction, a local bar owner was able to take a live video of the building and Tom's unit. It looked even more impressive from what we could see. It was full of skylights, high ceilings, and walls of glass to take in the stunning views of the water and city. After this video went viral, the gentleman claimed the Church of Scientology planted a camera to spy and intimidate him, but who knows. Tom's Clearwater residence is only two blocks from the headquarters and he is said to own three other units in the building, two of which are rumored to belong to his children with Nicole Kidman, Connor and Bella. Tom's three sisters also have units here and some say he moved his family members to the building to keep an eye on them, just so they won't leave Scientology like Katie Holmes did. Another place that Tom has been calling home as of late is England. In the past, when he was still married to Katie Holmes, he owns an elegant mansion here, but he sold it for about $7 million back in 2016. Just last year, reports surfaced that Tom was actively looking to buy a new home in Sussex. Not surprisingly, he spent part of the lockdown at the Church of Scientology UK headquarters, located in East Grinstead, Sussex, after filming for the seventh Mission Impossible film was suspended. Since filming has likely resumed or will soon, Tom has been seen shopping around for a permanent residence in the area. The actor was staying at the 18th century mansion originally bought by the Church of Scientology's founder, L. Ron Hubbard, 1959, and it's called St. Hill Manor. The manor underwent a multi-million dollar renovation pretty recently, now boasting a restaurant run by a chef that used to work at Gordon Ramsay's Royal Hospital Road in London. Apparently, Tom's role is more active than ever in Scientology, and he wants to move to the UK to be on hand and close by to this headquarters. One news outlet reported a few months ago that Cruz had his sights set on a historic $5 million plus mansion in Worthing. Property had features like a movie theater, games room, indoor swimming pool, and private cottage, but it wasn't confirmed whether he bought it or not. Before Tom and his three sisters were house shopping in West Sussex, Tom also snagged a luxury rental while he was filming in the city of London. This two-story penthouse was located in the Corinthia Hotel and reportedly cost the actor a whopping 500 k per month. I've never heard of that kind kind of rental price before. It was in a block of 12 luxury apartments, formerly owned by the Queen, and the penthouse had four beds, four marble baths, a huge rooftop terrace, and views of the River Thames and the London Eye. Up on the roof, there was also a sleek fire pit, white furnishings, and a life-size chest set. This unit had three neutral tone living rooms to relax in, full of natural light, and up a spiral staircase was the Lux Master Suite. Tom's top-of-the-line rental had access to the Corinthia Hotel and all of the amenities, including the lavish four-floor spa and indoor pool. While this place was fit for a king, it seems Tom was more keen on being next to his Scientology crew. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. We looked at a few places Tom Cruise has been calling home, including the Colorado estate he's selling for $39 million, his penthouse in Florida, and his living situation in the UK. While he loves his custom Colorado mansion, I guess it just wasn't close enough to a Scientology headquarters like his Florida condo or the one in Sussex, England. I guess we'll have to see if Tom officially purchases a new mansion in the UK like he's planning on doing. Since he left Hollywood,
Hollywood behind a few years ago, I wouldn't be surprised. What did you guys think about Tom's properties? Were they what you expected of the A-lister? Honestly, I had no idea he moved to a Florida penthouse located on the Scientology grounds, but I can't say I'm surprised. The man loves his Scientology. Out of his homes, which was your fave? I absolutely love the Colorado spot he has on the market. The glamorous cabin vibe is a dream and the 300 plus acres of nature surrounding the estate is even better. I would love a mansion in the mountains so close to wildlife. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you haven't, I'd love it if you subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. We'll link you my latest video. We are staying at the Fairmont Banff Spring, but when we arrived, I was even more excited to find out the place is haunted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want me to feature next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.